abduction stuff. If you put a knife to my belly, my throat, my kidneys, my liver, my back, he holds a knife on me to abduct me, to take my money, then I can maybe work. So he either wants to kidnap me or wants my money. Okay, what do you want? system.com dealing with a knife very dangerous look at my other videos where I talk about it don't fight unless you have to but if you're in threat of your life this is the first video on dealing with a guy uh, abduction type hold using the knife as a form of getting something out of you whether he wants your money give it to him he wants to take you to a second lo secondary location fight him you don't go into a car especially as a woman you don't go into a car or a back alley um, where someone can do their further crimes on you which usually results and rape and death and maybe in the opposite order. So, um, what we're talking about is someone putting a knife to your neck from behind. So, as Oleg here comes up behind me, he wants something from me. Now whenever I decide to go, I might talk my way out of it and just, hey man, please, please, you know, I'm, I might get a hand up here without telling him I'm struggling. If I give him a lot of force, then he's in a fight with me. But if I go like, hey man, hey, hey, what do you want? And I, I figure him out. Maybe I can just throw my wallet on the ground and distract him. Maybe he's high on drugs. You know, but if I throw my wallet to the ground or, or even my cell phone or something of value, car keys, he might pay attention. But if I feel like he's um, abducting me now, maybe I'm traveling. Maybe I'm in some other places of the country where they kidnap you. Okay, and ransom. Technically, now we'll deal with the knife. The knife's at your artery. Getting caught in the neck, getting that artery slashed is what you want to avoid. So if I'm going to make a movement, what I want to do is get both hands in play. I'm going to put this one here and attach it to me. At the same time, look at me lift my elbow. To begin with, to train it, you could just throw your hand on top of your head. I know it looks silly, but pay attention now. He's got a little pressure here. Look where the blade goes. It's here. Now it's not there. Now that's a good thing. So I can work in here. And now this I may be a big guy, but I'm not going to wrestle with him bicep style. I'm going to attach it to my body. That way when he's f flailing around, I might get some nicks, but hopefully not deep enough to kill me. So I'm going to work in here. Now, from there, you can either go under or you can turn out. If you have the strength to work against the wrist, turn him out, and hopefully get the elbow uh, underneath your shoulder, you can work an elbow break as a fulcrum, and then work from there. Take it, control it take the knife, 
deal with them if you got it or break away. Back off, man. Whatever you got to do. So ideally, if I can turn it out, I'll turn it out. But there's other options. I'll go over that one again. What's important here is same time, shoulder up, get that away from, attach it to your chest. And then you fight from there, work from there. If your instincts are to hit or whatever, that's fine, but really you got to deal with the knife hand. I would turn it out, grab the wrist, turn it out. Okay, see I got like a wrist break on him right here. He's up on his toes, right? I think right now he's raised up. There's where I can take this knife and I work out here, okay? Because that's what was open to me. His wrist was at a worse angle that time. I didn't need to go against his elbow joint. I just went against his wrist joint. I'm going to go here. Now, the energy, because the elbow is high, is going to be to slip out under the back door. Okay, I don't like going that way, but it's okay. Now I feed it to him, and even wood hurts with my body. See, I, I cupped his elbow, and I went in to stab him with his own knife with my body. I don't like going out in general in a fighting rule because you can end up in like a headlock or bulldog choke position. But if that's the energy that's there, that's the energy that's there. <laughs> So, um, even in, even in a car abduction, someone was check your back seat. Always be on condition orange. You know, uh, check around you. Okay, but even if he was behind me in a car, he was hiding in the back seat. If I get this to me and lift it, the blade comes away. Now I'm not going to say dealing with it from that point so easy, but I might jam the knife into the roof of the car as hard as I can so hopefully it sticks there while, boom, I pull his hand off the knife, the knife's stuck in the roof, I twist his wrist, I get the knife, I turn around and I start stabbing the guy. So, uh, you know, be aware of uh, that kind of stuff. We'll go, uh, let me go with you a second. We'll go with someone taller, thanks. We'll like, hey, let me, let me go with you a minute. So now I'll go with someone taller because the leg's a little shorter than me. So you see his elbows down a little bit. So just so you can see a couple different things. Now, He's got this to my neck deeper now. A little more dangerous maybe. It's not right on my artery, but it's going to be a little harder to slip out. But still, if I do this, I can still get the knife away. Yeah. And if I wanted to turn my hips and go a little teapot at the same time and really go out and then feed it back to him, I can. So here. Good, yeah. Good, good. Okay, that's my Okay, so now he's a little tighter and he wants me to go somewhere. Right? So maybe you're dragging me backwards, dragging me backwards. So now he's taking me somewhere. Hey, let's go to your car, let's go somewhere. Uh oh, I got he's got bad intentions. He doesn't just want my money. Then it's go time. So I'm gonna go, feed it, feed it, and try and use your body. And go, go, whatever. Okay. <coughs> so he's taller now. And it depends where that elbow is. But I can still articulate his elbow up, which puts the knife down. Work against his wrist and his elbow. Snap that elbow. Get the knife. Still control this work underneath. And I also have the knife. <coughs> so let's say we're in a car. Here. Twist it. You released it. Fine elbow in the back seat, or if you still had the knife, jam it into the roof. <coughs> yeah, you need to be a little realistic. Get that one. Okay, see this more dangerous. I'm gonna, hey man, chill out, chill out, and bring my hands up. Chill out. So, going at the right moment is important, but think about space. No one ever thought about raising their shoulder to take this way. I got this from my seminar instructor, uh, George Pogacic, who's in Michigan under Vladimir Vasiliev. Um, very, very highly skilled guy. And if you can, look him up. And uh, something to think about. Hope you guys enjoyed it.